In the ever-evolving landscape of modern warfare, attack helicopters have become indispensable, serving as critical assets in combat scenarios. These airborne warriors are designed for precision strikes, close air support, and rapid deployment, making them a vital component of military operations worldwide. This video showcases everything from Turkey's amazing all-round helicopter to the versatile European effort in the 15 best attack helicopters in the world. Number 15. The Tayagusta Westland T129 ATAC. The Tayagusta Westland T129 ATAC, a collaboration between Turkish Aerospace Industries and Augusta Westland, is a twin engine, tandem seat, multi role attack helicopter capable of operating in all weather conditions. This helicopter marks a significant milestone in Turkish defense engineering and has garnered considerable attention on the global defense stage. The T-129 is equipped with a diverse array of weaponry, including a 20mm cannon, UMTA's anti-tank missiles, Stinger air-to-air -air missiles, and 70mm rockets. This comprehensive arsenal allows the T-129 to effectively engage a wide range of targets, from heavily armored vehicles to aerial threats and infantry positions. The T-129's avionics suite is state-of-the-art, featuring advanced targeting systems, electronic warfare capabilities, and a robust set of countermeasures. These systems enhance the crew's situational awareness and precision targeting, ensuring effective operation in various weather conditions, both day and night. Powered by two LH-Tech CTS-804A turboshaft engines, the T-129 can achieve a top speed of 152 miles per hour, 245 kilometers per hour. Its advanced rotor system and sleek aerodynamic design provide exceptional agility and maneuverability, which are crucial in high-intensity combat situations. Survivability is a key focus in the T-129's design. The helicopter's armor is built to withstand hits from 23mm rounds, and it is equipped with energy-absorbing seats and crash-worthy systems to protect the crew in the event of an emergency landing. Number 14. NH Industries NH-90, the Versatile Warrior The NH Industries NH-90, created through a collaborative effort among France and other European nations, is a medium-sized twin-engine helicopter designed for multiple military roles. Though it isn't solely an attack helicopter, the NH-90 has combat variants equipped to handle armed reconnaissance and anti-surface warfare missions. The NH-90's weaponry can be customized based on its mission needs. The combat variant, named the NFH NATO Frigate Helicopter, can carry a variety of weapons, including anti-submarine torpedoes, anti-ship missiles, and side-mounted machine guns. This flexibility allows the NH-90 to tackle targets both at sea and on land with ease. The NH-90 is packed with advanced avionics, including fly-by-wire controls, a robust electronic warfare suite, and an array of sophisticated sensors. These sensors include radar, sonar, forward-looking infrared, FLIR, and a magnetic anomaly detector for detecting submarines. These high-tech systems improve the helicopter's targeting precision, situational awareness, and overall survivability, making it capable of conducting operations in any weather, day, or night. Powered by either Rolls-Royce Turbo Mecha RTM-322 or General Electric T700E turboshaft engines, depending on the model, the NH-90 can reach speeds of up to 186 miles per hour, 300 kilometers per hour. Its design prioritizes durability and adaptability, allowing it to operate from both land and naval platforms in challenging weather conditions and tough environments. Adopted by numerous NATO countries, the NH-90 has seen action across the globe. It has been used in missions ranging from troop transport and search and rescue to anti-submarine warfare and armed reconnaissance, showcasing its versatility. The NH-90's development and deployment highlight a successful multinational effort in rotorcraft innovation. Its cutting-edge avionics, flexible armament options, and multi-role capabilities ensure that it remains a key player in various combat and support missions. Number 13. 
Kawasaki OH-1, Japan's Agile Scout The Kawasaki OH-1, crafted by Kawasaki Heavy Industries, is a cutting-edge scout and light-attack helicopter in service with the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force, JGSDF. Known as the Ninja, this helicopter embodies the stealth and agility suggested by its name, representing a significant milestone in Japan's helicopter design and manufacturing prowess. The OH-1 is armed with a 20mm XM301 three-barrel Gatling gun mounted under its nose, and its stub wings feature four hardpoints capable of carrying Type 91 air-to-air -air missiles or unguided rocket pods. This versatile weaponry allows the OH-1 to effectively engage ground targets while also providing defense against airborne threats. The OH-1 boasts an impressive array of avionics, including a roof-mounted optoelectronic sensor turret that houses a forward-looking infrared, FLIR sensor, a laser rangefinder, and a CCD camera. These sensors enhance the helicopter's ability to maintain situational awareness and ensure precision targeting no matter the weather or time of day. The OH-1 is also equipped with a helmet-mounted display, HMD, for both pilots, which projects sensor and flight data directly onto the pilot's visor, improving responsiveness and coordination during missions. Powered by two Mitsubishi TS-1 turboshaft engines, the OH-1 can achieve a top speed of 173 miles per hour, 278 kilometers per hour, its aerodynamic design, featuring a bearingless main rotor and a shrouded tail rotor, provides exceptional agility and maneuverability, crucial for both scouting and light attack roles. The OH-1 is built with survivability in mind. Its tandem cockpit is armored and designed to protect the crew from small arms fire, while its energy-absorbing landing gear and crash-worthy seats help safeguard the crew in the event of a crash or hard landing. Developed to replace the aging fleet of OH-6 Scout helicopters, the OH-1 marks a significant step forward in Japan's commitment to advancing its own defense technology rather than relying on foreign designs. Although Japan's strict defense export laws have limited the OH-1's presence to domestic use since its introduction in 2000, the helicopter has proven its effectiveness within the JGSDF. The Kawasaki OH-1 stands as a testament to Japanese innovation in rotorcraft technology. With its advanced avionics, powerful armament, and superior performance, it ranks among the world's leading scout and light attack helicopters. Number 12. Boeing Sikorsky RAH-66 Comanche, the Stealth Pioneer The Boeing Sikorsky RAH-66 Comanche was a groundbreaking project in the world of attack helicopters, even though it never made it to full production. Designed as a stealthy armed reconnaissance helicopter, the Comanche introduced technologies that influenced the future of rotorcraft design. Its planned weaponry included a 20mm cannon and internal bays that could carry AGM-114 Hellfire missiles and AM-92 Stinger air-to-air -air missiles. This combination, paired with its stealth capabilities, would have allowed the Comanche to strike targets with precision while remaining undetected. The helicopter was equipped with a state-of-the-art avionic suite featuring advanced sensors, stealth technology, and a comprehensive electronic warfare system. These systems were designed to ensure the Comanche could operate in any weather, day, or night. The aircraft was powered by two LH Tech T-800 turboshaft engines, providing a top speed of 175 miles per hour, 282 kilometers per hour. The five-blade rotor system, coupled with its compact size, promised exceptional agility and maneuverability. Despite its promising design, the Comanche program was canceled due to escalating costs and changing military needs. However, the innovations developed during the project, such as composite materials, cutting-edge avionics, and stealth technologies, have had a lasting impact on helicopter designs that followed. Number 11. Al Light Combat Helicopter, India's High Altitude Warrior India's High Altitude Warrior, the HAL Light Combat Helicopter, LCH, developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL in India, is a multi-role combat helicopter tailored for high-altitude warfare. Designed to tackle the unique challenges posed by India's diverse topography, 
the LCH combines firepower, advanced avionics, and performance optimized for demanding conditions. The helicopter is armed with a 20mm M621 cannon on a Nexter THL-20 turret, and it can also carry anti-tank guided missiles, 70mm rockets, and air-to-air -air missiles, making it capable of engaging a wide range of targets, from armored vehicles to aerial threats. The LCH is equipped with a modern avionics suite that includes advanced targeting systems, a helmet-mounted sight, and a comprehensive electronic warfare package. These features enhance the crew's targeting capabilities and situational awareness, allowing them to conduct missions in any weather, day or night. The cockpit, with its glass design, offers a wide field of view, which is crucial during close combat situations. Powered by two Shakti turboshaft engines, the LCH can reach a maximum speed of 168 miles per hour. 270 kilometers per hour. Notably, it has demonstrated the ability to operate at altitudes up to 21,300 feet, thanks to its advanced engines and aerodynamic design, making it ideal for operations in high-altitude regions like the Himalayas. Already ordered by both the Indian Air Force and the Indian Army, the LCH has proven its capabilities in several high-altitude tests and has been deployed during border standoffs, underscoring its strategic importance and effectiveness in real-world scenarios. Number 10. AH-1 Super Cobra, the battlefield icon. The AH-1 Super Cobra, developed by Bell Helicopter, is a legendary figure in the world of attack helicopters. As a direct descendant of the AH-1 Cobra, the first dedicated attack helicopter, the Super Cobra has undergone decades of evolution to meet the ever-changing demands of the battlefield. The Super Cobra's arsenal is formidable, featuring a 20mm M197 three-barrel Gatling gun, AGM-114 Hellfire missiles, TOW missiles, and 2.75-inch 70mm rockets. This wide array of weaponry allows the Super Cobra to effectively engage armored vehicles, aircraft, and infantry. The helicopter's advanced avionics suite includes cutting-edge sensors and targeting systems, such as the Night Targeting System NTS, which enables precise attacks in all weather conditions, day or night. Additionally, the Super Cobra is equipped with advanced electronic warfare systems to defend against radar-guided and infrared threats. Powered by two General Electric T700 GE401 turboshaft engines, the Super Cobra can achieve a top speed of approximately 175 miles per hour, 282 kilometers per hour. The twin-engine configuration enhances both performance and survivability while the bearingless semi-rigid rotor design improves the helicopter's agility. The Super Cobra's design places a strong emphasis on survivability. The crew compartment is reinforced with armor that can withstand hits from 23mm rounds, and the helicopter is equipped with energy-absorbing landing gear and crash-worthy seats to protect the crew in the event of a crash landing. The AH-1 Super Cobra represents a significant chapter in the history of attack helicopters, with its legacy continuing in the latest iteration, the AH-1Z Viper. This ensures that the Cobra's proven design will continue to serve well into the 21st century. The Super Cobra's powerful combination of firepower, advanced avionics, and battle-tested performance secures its place as one of the top attack helicopters in the world. Number 9. Augusta A129 Mangusta Italy's premier attack helicopter. The Augusta A129 Mangusta developed by Augusta, now part of Leonardo SPA, is Italy's leading attack helicopter designed for anti-armor, armed reconnaissance, and close air support missions. As the first attack helicopter fully developed in Western Europe, it combines robust firepower, cutting-edge avionics, and impressive performance capabilities. The Mangusta's weaponry is tailored for a variety of mission profiles, featuring TAU missiles, Hellfire II missiles, and 81mm or 70mm rockets, giving it substantial anti-armor and fire support potential. Additionally, a nose-mounted 20mm Gatling gun provides effective countermeasures against soft targets and infantry. The A129's avionics suite is highly advanced, enhancing its combat capabilities. It includes a night vision goggle-compatible cockpit, forward-looking infrared, 
FLIR, electronic warfare systems, and helmet-mounted displays. This comprehensive digital avionics package ensures operational readiness in all weather conditions, both day and night. The Mangusta is powered by two Rolls-Royce GEM 1004D turboshaft engines, which allow it to reach a top speed of 174 miles per hour, 279 kilometers per hour. The dual engine setup adds an extra layer of safety, ensuring continued flight even if one engine fails. The A129 has primarily served with the Italian Army, participating in UN missions and peacekeeping operations in Iraq and Afghanistan, where it has proven its effectiveness in armed reconnaissance and escort roles. Number 8. Mi-28 Havoc, Russia's Battlefield Beast The Mi-28 Havoc, developed by the Mil Moscow Helicopter Plant, is a Russian all-weather, day-night military tandem attack helicopter, optimized for anti-armor and direct fire support. It is designed to be a powerful force on the battlefield. The Havoc's firepower is substantial, featuring a 30mm Shipanov 2A42 cannon and a mix of anti-tank guided missiles, unguided rockets, and air-to-air -air missiles. This versatile arsenal allows the Mi-28 to engage a wide range of targets with lethal efficiency. The Mi-28's avionics are equipped with advanced navigation and targeting systems, enabling it to operate in all weather conditions, day or night. It includes a thermal night vision camera, laser rangefinder, and a helmet-mounted targeting system, which allows the pilot to aim weapons simply by looking at the target. Powered by two Klimov TV 3117 VMA turboshaft engines, the Havoc reaches a top speed of 199 miles per hour. Its design and maneuverability make it highly effective in close combat situations, providing a decisive edge in intense engagements. Survivability is a key feature of the Mi-28. Its cockpit is armored to withstand 20mm rounds, and the main rotor blades are built to endure hits from 30mm shells. The Havoc also includes energy-absorbing landing gear and seats to protect the crew during crash landings. The Mi-28 has been deployed by the Russian Armed Forces, including in combat operations in Syria, where it has demonstrated resilience and firepower in challenging conditions. Time for the fancy topic. In a stunning display of engineering and resilience, a new state-of-the-art attack helicopter dubbed Condor successfully completed its first test in the harsh Arctic environment. The helicopter, designed to operate in extreme cold and unforgiving terrain, was put through rigorous trials to prove its capabilities. During the test, engineers and pilots faced numerous challenges, including frozen fuel lines and ice buildup on the rotors. However, the Condor's advanced systems and robust design allowed it to power through these obstacles. Soldiers on the ground had to assist in de-icing and preparing the helicopter for flight, demonstrating the teamwork required to operate in such conditions. The Condor is now being hailed as the best attack helicopter for missions in extreme environments, promising to enhance military capabilities where traditional aircraft would falter. Could this helicopter change the future of aerial warfare? How might it perform in actual combat situations? Let us know in the comments with the hashtag fancy topic. Number 7. SAIC Z10, China's Modern Attack Helicopter. The SAIC Z10, developed by the Chang'e Aircraft Industries Corporation of China, represents the country's first dedicated modern attack helicopter. Designed for the demands of 21st century warfare, the Z10 offers a potent mix of firepower, advanced avionics, and strong performance. The Z10's armament is formidable, including a 30mm automatic cannon, HJ-10 anti-tank guided missiles, TI-90 air-to-air missiles, and unguided rocket pods. This extensive arsenal enables the Z-10 to engage a variety of targets, from armored vehicles to enemy aircraft and infantry. The Z-10's avionics suite is state-of-the-art, featuring a millimeter-wave fire control radar, helmet-mounted sight, and integrated electronic warfare systems. These systems provide superior situational awareness and targeting accuracy in all weather conditions both day and night. The Z-10 is powered by two WZ-9 turboshaft engines, allowing it to reach a maximum speed of 186 miles per hour. Its agility and maneuverability make it highly effective in close combat and low-altitude operations. 
The Z-10 is built with survivability in mind. Its armor can withstand hits from 23mm rounds, and it is equipped with crash-worthy seats to reduce the impact on crew members in the event of a crash landing. The Z-10 has primarily served with the People's Liberation Army of China, taking part in various military exercises and anti-terrorism operations. It signifies a major advancement in China's military capabilities and their pursuit of self-sufficiency in defense technology. Number 6. Danel AH-2 Royvalk, South Africa's Attack Helicopter The Danel AH-2 Royvalk, developed by South Africa's Danel Aviation, is a unique force in the world of attack helicopters. Designed mainly for anti-armor operations in the tough conditions of southern Africa, the Royvalk boasts powerful weaponry, advanced avionics, and impressive performance features. The Royvalk's armament is versatile, including a 20mm cannon and the capability to carry anti-tank guided missiles, air-to-air -air missiles, and unguided rockets, giving it the firepower needed to engage a wide range of battlefield targets. The Royvalk's avionic suite is highly advanced, featuring sophisticated navigation systems, thermal imaging, and a helmet-mounted display. These systems enable the helicopter to conduct all-weather, day and night operations, enhancing its combat effectiveness. The Royvalk is powered by two Turbomeca Makila 1K2 turboshaft engines, which give it a top speed of 186 miles per hour, 299 kilometers per hour. Its agile rotor system and narrow fuselage design improve maneuverability and increase survivability in combat scenarios. Although its operational history is relatively brief, the Royvalk has proven its capabilities in notable missions. It has been deployed in peacekeeping efforts in the Democratic Republic of Congo under the United Nations, where it excelled in combat and close air support roles. The Royvalk stands as a testament to South Africa's engineering prowess and ability to develop a highly capable and versatile attack helicopter. Number 5. Eurocopter Tiger Airbus Helicopters Agile Warrior The Eurocopter Tiger, produced by Airbus Helicopters, stands out as a highly versatile multi-role attack helicopter, celebrated for its agility, advanced technology, and powerful weaponry. Introduced in the early 2000s, the Tiger has continually adapted to meet the evolving demands of contemporary warfare. Its armament can be tailored to specific mission needs, including a mix of Mistral air-to-air -air missiles, Hellfire 2 air-to-ground missiles, and Hydra 70 rocket pods. These weapons are directed by a sophisticated fire control system, enabling the Tiger to strike with precision and lethality. A key feature of the Tiger is its cutting-edge avionics. It boasts a modern digital cockpit, an integrated self-protection suite, and a helmet-mounted sight display. These systems ensure the Tiger's ability to operate in all weather conditions, day or night, while maintaining superior situational awareness on the battlefield. The helicopter's agility is unparalleled, powered by two Turbomeca Rolls-Royce MTR390 turboshaft engines. It can achieve a top speed of 196 miles per hour, 315 kilometers per hour, and performs exceptional aerobatics. Combined with its stealth design and low detectability, the Tiger is a formidable opponent in combat. The Tiger has an extensive operational history, participating in various conflicts and humanitarian missions. It has been deployed in counterinsurgency operations in Afghanistan, peacekeeping missions in Kosovo, and anti-terrorist campaigns in Mali. These diverse operations highlight the Tiger's adaptability and effectiveness in multiple combat scenarios. Number 4. Kamov Ka-50 Black Shark, Russia's Agile Predator The Kamov Ka-50 Black Shark, known as the Hokum A by NATO, is a single-seat Russian attack helicopter featuring a unique coaxial rotor system. Developed by Kamov, it is designed for close air support and anti-armor roles, gaining a reputation for its extraordinary maneuverability and combat durability. The Black Shark carries an impressive arsenal, including a semi-rigid 30mm Shapunov 2A42 autocannon and various rocket pods and anti-tank guided missiles like the Viker. This array of weaponry allows it to effectively engage armored vehicles, fortifications, and enemy personnel, 
A standout characteristic of the KA-50 is its coaxial rotor system, which enhances its agility and enables it to execute complex maneuvers such as loops and rolls, capabilities rarely seen in other helicopters. Powered by two TV3117 VMA turboshaft engines, the Black Shark reaches a top speed of 196 miles per hour, 315 kilometers per hour, and operates up to 18,000 feet. The K-50 is built with robust survivability features, including an armored cockpit and self-sealing fuel tanks for added pilot protection. Notably, it also includes an ejection seat, a rare safety feature in helicopters, ensuring pilot safety in critical situations. Although its combat service has been limited, with notable use during the Second Chechen War for reconnaissance and target designation, the K-50's unique design and impressive capabilities secure its place among the top attack helicopters. Number 3. Bell AH-1Z Viper, the latest Cobra evolution. The AH-1Z Viper, developed by Bell Helicopter, represents the latest evolution in the long-standing Cobra attack helicopter family. This twin-engine attack helicopter, used by the United States Marine Corps USMC, integrates advanced avionics, powerful weaponry, and superior performance. The Viper's armament is extensive, including AGM-114 Hellfire missiles, AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles, and a range of guided and unguided rockets. Its nose-mounted 20mm Gatling gun adds another layer of firepower, allowing it to engage various targets effectively. The AH-1Z's avionics are state-of-the-art, featuring a night vision-compatible glass cockpit, an advanced targeting sight system, and a helmet-mounted queuing system. These technologies enable the Viper to operate in all weather conditions, day or night, while providing pilots with enhanced situational awareness. The Viper's performance is impressive, powered by two General Electric T700GE-401C engines. It can reach speeds of up to 184 miles per hour, 296 kilometers per hour, and features a four-blade bearingless composite rotor system, which enhances maneuverability and allows for advanced aerobatics. Designed with survivability in mind, the Viper includes crash-worthy seats, self-sealing fuel tanks, and composite armor protection, ensuring crew safety during combat. The AH-1Z has been deployed in various conflicts, from Afghanistan to Libya, where it has provided close air support and anti-armor operations for the USMC. Its proven capabilities and ongoing upgrades ensure that the Viper remains a critical asset in modern warfare. Number 2. AH-64 Apache, Boeing's pinnacle of combat power. Widely recognized as one of the most powerful and adaptable attack helicopters in the world, the Boeing AH-64 Apache represents the peak of rotary wing combat capability. Initially developed for the U.S. Army in the latter half of the 20th century, the Apache has since been adopted by numerous countries and has seen extensive use in combat across the globe. The Apache's formidable firepower is at the heart of its battlefield dominance. Its primary weapon, the 30mm M230 chain gun, is mounted beneath the fuselage and holds 1-200 rounds, delivering sustained firepower that can devastate enemy forces. For engaging armored vehicles and fortifications, the Apache can be outfitted with AGM-114 Hellfire missiles which are powerful enough to destroy even the toughest targets. Additionally, Hydra-70 rocket pods can be equipped for area suppression and attacking less fortified positions. The AH-64's avionics are a showcase of cutting-edge military technology. The Target Acquisition Designation Site TADS, and the Pilot Night Vision Sensor PNVS, provide superior target recognition and night fighting capabilities. The advanced fire control system allows both the pilot and the co-pilot gunner to coordinate or divide targeting duties, enhancing operational flexibility. The Apache's rugged design and survivability features have made it a symbol of resilience. It is equipped with crash-resistant seats, self-sealing fuel tanks, and can withstand hits from 23mm anti-aircraft rounds all of which ensure the crew's safety under intense combat conditions. The helicopter's durable rotor system allows it to stay operational even when taking heavy fire. The Apache has proven its capabilities in a wide range of conflict zones, 
It first saw combat during the 1989 Panama invasion, where it conducted precision strikes against Panamanian forces. Its true potential was displayed during the 1991 Gulf War, where it played a key role in the initial phase of Operation Desert Storm, leading the assault on critical enemy air defenses. Since then, the Apache has been a critical asset in various conflicts, including those in the Balkans, Afghanistan, and Iraq. Number 1. Mi-24 Hind, Russia's Dual-Purpose Warhorse The Mi-24 Hind, developed by the Mil Moscow Helicopter Plant, is a legendary attack helicopter known for its toughness and versatility. Often described as a flying tank, the Hind is not only an attack helicopter but also a low-capacity troop transport capable of carrying up to eight soldiers, which distinguishes it from many other helicopters in its class. The Hind's firepower is centered around its rocket pods and anti-tank guided missiles. It typically carries a mix of Sturm V missiles and unguided rockets, providing the ability to strike both heavily armored and softer targets. Its nose-mounted four-barrel Yak-B 12.7mm machine gun adds another layer of firepower, making it effective against ground troops and light vehicles. One of the defining characteristics of the Mi-24 is its speed and armor. Designed for rapid, low-altitude flights across combat zones, the Hind speed helps reduce exposure to enemy fire. This agility is powered by its two turboshaft engines, which allow it to reach a top speed of 208 miles per hour, 335 kilometers per hour. The helicopter's cockpit and critical systems are heavily armored, giving it exceptional durability in hostile environments. The Mi-24 has a rich operational history, having been deployed in a wide range of conflict zones. From the arid landscapes of Afghanistan to the dense jungles of Central Africa, the Hind has been a reliable workhorse in numerous theaters of war. Its reputation as a durable and effective helicopter has been solidified by its ability to continue operating under harsh conditions and after sustaining significant damage. The Mi-24's versatility extends beyond its combat capabilities. It has been modified into several variants, each tailored for specific roles. These include the Mi-24V, which features upgraded avionics and night vision capabilities, and the Mi-24P, which replaces the Yak-B machine gun with a powerful GSH-32 twin-barrel 30mm autocannon, providing even greater firepower. Additionally, the Mi-24 has seen adaptations for roles such as medical evacuation, where its ability to carry troops can be repurposed to transport the wounded from the battlefield, offering critical care under fire. In terms of survivability, the Hind is equipped with advanced defensive systems. These include infrared jammers, flare dispensers, and armor plating designed to protect against small arms fire and shrapnel. The helicopter's self-sealing fuel tanks and redundant hydraulic systems further enhance its ability to sustain damage and remain operational. These features have made the Mi-24 a symbol of ruggedness in military aviation, capable of withstanding the rigors of intense combat. Beyond its military use, the Hind has also found a place in popular culture, often depicted in films, video games, and literature as the quintessential attack helicopter. Its distinctive design, with its sleek shark-like fuselage and iconic tandem cockpit, has made it an enduring symbol of Russian military might. Despite its age, the Mi-24 continues to be in service with numerous countries, a testament to its enduring design and the continued relevance of its capabilities in modern warfare. The Mi-24 Hind's combination of firepower, speed, and versatility has secured its place as one of the most formidable helicopters ever built. Whether serving in a direct combat role, providing close air support, or transporting troops into battle, the Hind remains a critical asset in the arsenals of many nations around the world. What's your top chopper? Let us know in the comments below. See you next time.